More than 30 Australian climate scientists are calling on the Northern Territory government not to lift its fracking moratorium. They're arguing the increases in greenhouse gas that a major shale gas industry would cause would breach Australia's international emission reduction commitments. But the Territory's manufacturing businesses are stepping up pressure for fracking to be allowed. Own Pike's Darwin steel fabrication business have geared up for a new fracking industry. The moratorium and a flatlining economy forced him to make big cuts. We employ about 100 locals at the moment. It was about 174 months ago. He's calling on the Territory Government to allow the gas industry to resume and to drum up public support by demanding local businesses get the work and jobs. We can mandate that we bought this here and we can issue the social licence and you have to spend your money with the local businesses that employ the local people. Construction businesses have high hopes the moratorium will be lifted because so far the government's fracking inquiry has found environmental risks are low. But 31 climate scientists and doctors are challenging that in an open letter to the government. The proposed gas development in the Northern Territory, in fact any new fossil fuel development, is not compatible with the Paris two degree target that we've signed up to. They say Australia can't afford the 5% emissions rise predicted from developing one territory gas field. We need to be reducing them by several percent a year, maybe five, six percent a year, not increasing them. The industry's calling on the Territory Government to consider gas a necessary transition fuel between coal and renewable energy. It is a much cleaner fuel than coal uh, and importantly it's a, a fuel that is available now that can have an immediate impact on lowering our carbon emissions and facilitate uh, the transition to greater integration of renewable energy into our, into our mix. We've actually passed that time, it's too late. We need to go directly to zero carbon fuels, zero carbon energy systems. And fortunately, those are now technologically feasible, they're economically feasible. Local businesses say they want the Chief Minister Michael Gunner to put them first. This is about giving Michael the political real estate to make the right decision. A political space being hotly contested. Jane Barton, ABC News.